going on guys it's Wayne here today we'll be taking a look at pivot tables pivot tables I believe is one of Excel's most useful functionalities it allows us to summarize otherwise overwhelming data this is going to be part one of three videos so please bear with me if you are already a pivot table guru uh, or just click the links to take you to video number two and three. We'll mostly be touching on how to set up a, our raw data in a proper table format and also how to create a pivot table today. So every Thursday um, at work we go to this Italian deli. It's amazing. Uh, Massimo in Kenworth, New Jersey. So what I do is I collect orders and money and then I go pick it up and it's gotten to the point where a lot of people have been on board so to organize um, who's ordering and what their order is in addition to any customizations to the orders the costs and how much I've been paid so far it really helps organize all this information nicely so we can see here that this is in the proper table format and what that means is that there's column headings so there's name right all these are names all these are orders notes cost and how much I've been paid and records so anything in this row row 2 relates to MJ's order for number 11 grilled chicken mozzarella tomatoes how much it cost and how much I've been paid and that holds true for every single transaction here we can see that there could be multiple names and as long as this is the exact same yes capitalization matters then these will be grouped under this name um, if we take a if we spin our data into a row and have BB as the row um, I'll, I'll show you that later so a few things um, I like to do I like to click anywhere in here most most likely like the first second row column um, I like to click control down arrow and then control right arrow and that'll actually take us to the the uh, the last value that the pivot table is going to grab we can also do this by control a and then we can really see this is our table what we can do is format this as a table so now there's a few benefits right so I just went to home format as table it looks like the dancing ants are capturing everything we want so now let's click OK so this is a little more powerful than our normal uh, free range um, for example if we want to see anyone that hasn't paid yet you can just click anything with zero looks like this is zero but we want to see everything the most important thing I think uh, to to know about tables is that once you add something a new record it actually gets automatically added into the table now this is very powerful because once we create a pivot table we can actually refresh it to include new records the pivot table will only grab up to the outermost column and row so it, it has to be separated by a space so it looks like there's nothing in this row so it gets separated here and now there's nothing here so this is how far the pivot table will go again we can just control a to create the pivot table what we can do is insert pivot table now a few options pop up looks like this is table number four we can verify that by the dancing ants around the table 
we can choose where the to plop the pivot table so we can do it in a new worksheet so it actually will create a new worksheet but we have a lot of room here so let's actually put this in an existing worksheet right so we can click here so it looks like it's going to be placed in raw the sheet named raw raw and g3 g3 click ok now it looks like our blank slate is right here g3 right what I like to do is I like to click inside here um, and click options and go into display and click classic pivot table layout so this actually gives us a good visualization of what these fields are going to look like once we've plopped these column headers in we can also do that here in the bottom right so I'm just going to create a quick pivot table to show BB has ordered more than one item so I want to plop name then I also want to see their order I want to see the cost as a value so how much it cost and then how much they paid so now let's right click expand collapse collapse entire field now we have a quick summary of how much the order was and how much money I've received now if we click the plus here we can see that BB has ordered a chicken parm and a coke for eight dollars and two dollars for a total of ten and ten dollars have been paid now let's verify that over here BB chicken parm coke eight and two eight and two perfect so we've actually used three uh, fields so far we can actually filter it here so for example we can click order here and get rid of that and we can actually look at whatever we want here let's see anyone that ordered a number 11 two people is that true MJ ordered a number 11 yes and WC $16 looks like these two totaled up will be $16 so that is true awesome congrats guys let's move on to video number two